Hello everyone, welcome to a guide on how to do a multi channel BFSTM file. There's so many tutorials on how to make a BRSTM file but not BFSTM. I think I'm the first one. Not sure about that though. And I'm gonna show you how to hack, but I will leave a link to a friend's guide in the description below. Alright, so things you will need for the multi channel BFSTM is Audacity. Multi BRSTM build with GUI tool. An audio converter that supports BRSTM and BFSTM. Looping audio converter is my choice because it's, in my opinion, the best one. Browbots if you want to get your songs to loop, but this is optional. And you might want to get a game dump, but if you're clever enough, you can skip that. More on that later. Alright, let's get started. Oh, and everything's in the description. Hold on. Now, what do you want to do is that Every channel, you're not to identify which channel is which. This is why the gain dump might be helpful, but it's not really needed. I'm using my Ocarate as an example. You also need looping audio converter for this part. So, dump, audio, stream. Let's get a song, for example. Let's get, hmm. Let's get Electrodrome, which is this thing. Um, I, no, don't open it. Let's do this, drag it up here, put each pair of channels in its own file, convert into mp3, and now let's wait for it to work. Alright, so from there we got four channels, well eight channels in four files. Now listen to the channels to check what is what. You gotta listen to them. It's, well, it's not necessary if you're clever enough. Hold on, let me turn up the volume. So, we know that channel 0 and 1 are the main track, and that is something that applies to every track in Mario Kart 8. 2 and 3 are always gonna be the front runner beats, 4 and 5 are going to be a second section if there is one. Which is probably the reason why you came here to begin with. Like, this is the wibbly wobbly part. And this one's just a crowd, just take my word for it. Alright, so how do we customize those? It's actually very simple. First, you gotta add whatever you want as the main track in Audacity. I have these limits of Cybertrack from Sonic Advance 3. Alright, so. That's all good. You wanna split stereo to mono. Hold on. Sorry for that, I had to sync up this song to begin at the right spot. Okay, so we have channel 0 and 1, which is the main track. Now we need the second channels 2 and 3, which are going to be the front runner bits, for example. If you don't want those, just add some random song. And then just simply, you know, what is it? Mute it. And then split stereo to mono. And now let's add the actual other channel. While it loads. And let's split that one from stereo to mono. And let's listen to see if it works nicely. Hold on, let me sync them up. Alright, this should work now. You can also apply effects to any of the songs that you want, if you wanna. Alright. Now that you're done, you go to File, Export Multiple. And you gotta make put them in this folder of the multi rstm thing, which is up here. You gotta put it in there. And you gotta make WAB, Microsoft, Science 16-bit PCM, and export. It might take a second. Okay, 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 okay. And just wait for it. Now that it's all done, minimize Audacity and open up this thing. And now for this, you gotta rename this to whatever number it is. So, 1, and then 2 whatever it says and so on now that we have this if you want your song to loop open up Browbots 
and open up the first file of all six of them. The one that has the number one. You can check this ahead of time if you want to, but it doesn't really matter as long as... This is like the last possible moment to do it, so open it up. Hold on. That didn't show properly. File, new, audio, BRCM audio stream. Select the first one, open, and copy this number that says end. Copy. Now you can close out Brava. This is only for the looping, so if you pick a long song, there is no need for this. So now we open up Molto RBRCM batch GUI open. I want to select the amount of channels it has. In this case, it sits. So loop and this, like I said, it's optional. And then BRCN output file name doesn't matter, but for the sake of time, I'm gonna name it the name of the actual track, which is. Hold on. Alright, so I copied this, so paste, build batch file, it's built, and now we close this, we click on build, and now we just watch the magic happen. It's gonna do a little bit of that, and I'm gonna record this because to show you the exact message I'm supposed to represent. But I'll show you when everything's done. There are six of them, so once the sixth one is over, I'll record again. Now you'll see, this says the same thing five times. Because it's the same thing five times. Because, six times, because there are six files in the way we found there. Because there are six channels. So that's what we did, and now, in a moment now, while it's doing that, it's going to change. And the message it has to display will be hold on, this process complete. By the way, important in this part, the name right here cannot have a space, else it would not work. All right, so now that I have a multi-channel BRSTM. What I can do is that I can open up Looping Audio Converter again, drag the BRSTM, put all channels in one file, output for BFSTM, start, export at one file, close Looping Audio, uh, close all this because it's a lot. No, that's stream. Looping audio, uh, output, and there we go. There's a motor channel BFSTM. Now let's put it in our folder of the game. And let's go to the game to check that it works. Okay, now that we're in game, let's test to see if it works. Mario Kart 8. Let's go. If the game will load, that is. Mm. I just got. Or not. I just uh, you can see that I enjoyed my custom music a lot. Alright, I'll cut. Alright, so let's confirm that it does actually work. There's a remix song which I set to the main thing. I'm playing with the Wii Wheel, which is kind of awkward. Just to show off. Alright, so. It's so hard to fire up with the wheel. Alright, so now that we're in this section, we have the remix playing. But listen. It actually... It actually changed, as you can see. I think it screwed up the files a little bit, so it didn't loop, so whatever. But you get the idea. The song actually changed. Hold on, let me actually use my actual song. Okay, let's use the actual song. You need to check with Audacity that everything is all right. And we need to check the looping and all that. Yeah, I had the crowd on this version. Uh, so yeah, you also can get the front running to work, but... Honestly, I can't be bothered to do that because front running is always gonna be out of sync anyways. So yeah, but now... Listen, listen to the change.
Why it sounds like this? Because I like to call this section the wibbly wobbly part. I just added an effect that will further fits it, fit, fit on it. My bad. So there we go. That's how you get multi channel BFSTMs, and that's a test to check if that it actually does work. Thanks for watching, and see you guys in another video. Bye! Oh, <laughs> that explains why I lost control so many times.